right, so what, what we're going to demo is how we can fly around on one engine, essentially. So we, we, we're in our twin here. We're at 6,000 feet, so we're near what's called our single engine service ceiling. So we couldn't climb on one engine much higher than this altitude, but we can maintain this altitude pretty easily on one engine, even if uh, it's our critical engine. That's the one we're going to shut down is our, is our left engine, which is our critical engine. That's the worst one that we could shut down. So to kind of start the demonstration, I'm just going to cool down the engine a little bit. So this is our manifold pressure gauge. I just pulled it back to 20 inches. We're going to let that sit for a second. May increase the mixture on there. And normally on an unexpected engine failure, you would move all levers forward to try to get as much power out of the plane as possible. But since we're doing this just as a purely as a demo, uh, we're not going to move everything full forward. I'm just going to show you how smooth it could be because I'm, I'm going to maintain 6,000 and we're heading. I could probably leave the autopilot on even uh, and you wouldn't be able to tell much of a difference. The only thing we're going to change is we're going to see a drop in airspeed uh, because we're losing a lot of that excess thrust. So something the camera can't pick up is I'm adding a lot of trim at this point to help me help with the control pressures. So we have a fair amount of right rudder because this right engine has more power now than the left. So the right engine is pulling me to the left. So I'm using the right rudder to compensate for that. All right, oil temperature looks pretty stable. So I'm gonna pull the mixture all the way back. So that, I like to demonstrate this, especially since we got the camera here. So I pull the mixture all the way back. So this is ch choking fuel off from our engine. So I felt a little bit of a bump there. So now that, that engine is not getting any fuel. And this is actually really interesting. Our manifold pressure is what we're using to determine power. And notice how the throttle still works. In fact, not that it's working, it's not actually sending fuel because uh, the engine is, we've got the mixture shut off. But as far as the, the manifold pressure gauge is working, because it's just measuring suction. So that engine has actually failed. And you can see we're still flying just fine. We've lost a lot of our airspeed. And we actually might be above our absolute ceiling right now because we've started a slight descent. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this back to idle. Mixture's back on. Now the engine's running. And we're going to climb back up to altitude. Yeah, since we were losing a little bit of altitude, I didn't want to actually shut it completely down and feather it, but we could have shut it completely down, stopped the propeller, that would have stopped a lot of the drag, and we would have been able to maintain our 6,000 feet just fine. You can see we gave up a lot of our airspeed. We probably gave up close to 60 knots of airspeed by losing a single engine. So we wouldn't have been able to get anywhere as fast, nearly as fast as with both engines, but we would have been able to safely, you know, go to the nearest available airport, which is maybe 20 miles behind us, and we have no problem. So that's a engine shutdown.